you've been taking turmeric wrong this entire time, and 95% of people making this mistake see zero benefit. Here's what research has shown. Your body naturally struggles with turmeric. It rapidly breaks down much of it, limiting how much can work. But there's a 10 second kitchen hack that may increase absorption by up to 20 times, and it costs pennies. We analyzed multiple clinical studies to bring you the 12 scientifically supported fixes that actually work. But fix number seven, even doctors were skeptical until they saw the results. Stick with me because I'm about to reveal the exact reason turmeric fails and the simple 12 science-backed fixes that finally make it work. Let's start with the number one reason most turmeric supplements are less effective. Why turmeric fails for most people. Mistake number one, taking turmeric without fat. Okay, here's the truth. If you've been taking turmeric on its own, plain, dry, or just in water, chances are your body absorbs very little of it. Seriously. Almost all of that golden spice? Only trace amounts make it into your bloodstream. Your body basically flushes much of it out. Why? Because curcumin, the key part of turmeric, is fat soluble. It can't get absorbed on its own. Studies have shown that when turmeric is taken alone, less than 1% is absorbed. Yep, almost all of it goes to waste. That's why so many people take turmeric for months and see zero results. Unfortunately, this is only the beginning. Even if turmeric made it past your stomach, there's another hidden barrier inside your body that stops it from working the way it should. Mistake number two, no black pepper, pipering. Even if your turmeric survives your stomach, there's a hidden problem. Your liver breaks most of it down before it can actually do anything. Crazy, right? All that golden spice and your body barely gets a chance to use it. But here's the wild part. Researchers found that just a tiny pinch of black pepper can boost turmeric absorption by about 2,000%. That's like turning almost nothing into a powerhouse. Now, even with fat and pepper, there's still another trap waiting, something that most turmeric users never think about. Mistake number three, taking it dry or overcooked. Most people don't realize this, but turmeric loses a lot of its power if it's stored too long or cooked at really high heat. That means if your turmeric's been sitting in the spice rack for months, some of its potency may already be gone before you even use it. And boiling it or cooking it too hot, that breaks down even more. No wonder so many people feel like turmeric doesn't work for them. Okay, so all these mistakes might make turmeric almost useless, but the good news, there's a set of simple science-backed fixes that can flip the script completely. Some of them are so easy, you probably have everything in your kitchen right now. Stick around because once you see these tricks, turmeric will finally start working the way it's supposed to. 12 Proven Fixes That Make Turmeric Work Number 12. Add Healthy Fats Avocado, Ghee, or Coconut Oil Remember how we talked about turmeric failing because your body can't absorb curcumin properly? Well, here's the fix that actually solves that problem. Adding healthy fats like coconut oil, ghee, or avocado makes a huge difference. Curcumin is fat soluble, so pairing it with fat lets your body use it instead of flushing it out. In fact, studies have shown that combining turmeric with fat can significantly increase absorption. Just a little bit of coconut oil, ghee, or avocado is enough. People who start doing this often notice a difference quickly. One person even said that this one change alone turned turmeric into a real supplement for me. Now that turmeric has fat to help it along, there's one more simple tweak, something almost everyone already has that can push it to its full potential. Number 11, pinch of black pepper, pipering. When you take turmeric, your liver breaks it down super fast. Like within minutes, most of it's gone before your body can use it. But black pepper changes everything. It has this thing called pipering that basically tells your liver to slow down and let the turmeric stick around longer. Scientists proved this works. They tested people taking turmeric with and without black pepper. The group with black pepper absorbed about 20 times more. That's huge. Also, it is super simple. Just add a tiny pinch of black pepper to whatever you're already doing with your turmeric. And while we're talking about absorption, here's something that'll probably surprise you about how you prepare it. Number 10, don't boil it. Everyone assumes heat is good for turmeric. Makes sense, right? Hot tea, warm milk, whatever. But if you're boiling it, you're actually killing the good stuff. Scientists found that boiling turmeric can destroy a lot of the compounds that make it work. So all that effort you're putting in with the fats and the black pepper, you could be undoing it all with too much heat. The sweet spot is keeping your liquids warm, not scorching hot. 
If you're making turmeric tea or golden milk, let your water boil, then let it sit for a few minutes before you add the turmeric. You want it warm, not scorching hot. And once you've got that heat thing down, there's this interesting discovery about what to eat alongside it. Number 9. Pair with quercetin. Apples, onions, kale. So you know how some foods just work better together, like peanut butter and jelly or tomatoes and basil? Well, turmeric has its perfect partner too, and it's probably sitting in your fruit bowl right now. Apples. Yeah, regular apples. Scientists found that apples have this thing called quercetin, and when you eat it with turmeric, they team up to fight inflammation way better than either one alone. It's not just apples though. Onions have it, kale has it, even berries. But apples are the easiest because most people actually like eating them. So next time you're having your turmeric with coconut oil and black pepper, just grab an apple too. Or throw some kale in your smoothie if you're doing it that way. You're basically creating this anti-inflammation powerhouse without even trying. Food combinations are powerful. But this next form of turmeric is so gentle on your stomach that people who couldn't tolerate regular turmeric finally get relief. Number 8. Use fermented turmeric. Best for gut health. Fermentation actually changes turmeric at a molecular level. It breaks it down into these things called bioactive curcuminoids, which are basically the most active parts of turmeric. Think of it like this. Instead of your body having to do all the work to extract the good stuff from turmeric, fermentation has already done that job. You're getting the concentrated, ready-to-use version. People who use fermented turmeric say they notice the benefits faster and don't get any of the stomach upset that sometimes comes with regular turmeric powder. One person in a study said they switched to fermented turmeric and their bloating completely disappeared. They were finally getting what they wanted from turmeric without any of the uncomfortable side effects. So if you want turmeric that plays nice with your stomach, fermented is definitely worth trying. Now, there's another approach that's completely different but equally impressive. Number 7. Liposomal Curcumin. Doctor Tested. Remember at the beginning when I mentioned there was one fix that even doctors were skeptical of until they saw the blood work? This is it. It's called liposomal curcumin, and it sounds fancy, but here's what it actually means. They wrap the curcumin in these tiny fat bubbles called liposomes. Think of it like putting the curcumin in a protective coat that your cells recognize and let right in. Regular curcumin has to fight its way through your digestive system, hope it doesn't get destroyed, and then try to get into your cells. Liposomal curcumin just walks right past all those barriers. Scientists tested this specifically and found that liposomal curcumin gets delivered to your liver and brain more effectively than regular forms. If you've tried turmeric before and didn't notice much, this might be the form that finally makes the difference for you. Now, what if the problem isn't how you take turmeric, but which part of the plant you're actually getting? Number six, use full spectrum turmeric. Most turmeric supplements are limited in scope, not on purpose, but they're only giving you part of the story. See, everyone obsesses over curcumin. That's the yellow compound that gets all the attention, but there's something most supplements leave out. Turmeric root has these other compounds called turmerones, and they're important too. These turmerones are like curcumin's wingmen. They actually help your body absorb more curcumin and make the anti-inflammatory effects stronger. But most supplements strip them out because they're harder to work with. Scientists tested this and found something pretty clear. Whole root turmeric extracts often perform better than isolated curcumin. The people using full-spectrum turmeric saw broader results for inflammation and absorption. Speaking of teams, there's another group of helpers your body needs. Number 5. Take it with probiotics. Here's something that blew my mind when I first learned it. Your gut bacteria don't just help you digest food. They actually transform curcumin into more active compounds that your body can use better. Scientists found that people with better gut health got more benefits from turmeric than people with poor gut health. Makes sense when you think about it. If the workers aren't showing up, nothing gets made. So if you've been taking turmeric but also eating a lot of processed food, taking antibiotics, or dealing with digestive issues, that might explain why you're not seeing results. Your gut bacteria might not be in good enough shape to do their job. So if regular turmeric isn't working for you, you've got two choices. Either find fermented turmeric that's already been activated, or support your gut bacteria so they can do the activation work themselves. But here's something that might surprise you. Your body can actually become less responsive to turmeric if you take it every single day. 
Number four, cycle your doses. Three weeks on, one week off. Most people figure if turmeric is good for them, they should take it every single day forever. But your body's smarter than that. It gets used to things, like how you stop noticing that air freshener in your car after a few days, or how coffee stops waking you up if you drink it all the time. The same thing happens with turmeric. Your body may develop a tolerance, and suddenly, that supplement that was working great just stops doing anything. There is a sweet spot, though. Three weeks on, one week off. It's like giving your body a reset button. You might be surprised how much better it works when you give your body that little break. Speaking of what works together, if your joints hurt, there's a specific combination that tackles both inflammation and joint repair at the same time. Turmeric plus collagen or bone broth. If your joints hurt, this is going to make immediate sense. You know how turmeric fights inflammation? Well, collagen supports the rebuilding of joint tissue. So instead of just treating one part of the problem, you're hitting it from both sides. People who drink bone broth with turmeric say their morning stiffness goes away faster, their joints feel less creaky, and they can move around without that constant ache. Research suggests that this combination can support joint health more than either ingredient alone. There's another combo that's just as powerful, but for completely different problems. Number two, turmeric plus ginger equals next level anti-inflammation. Most people think ginger is just for upset stomachs or nausea, but when you pair it with turmeric, something interesting happens. The ginger actually helps your body absorb the turmeric better, plus it brings its own anti-inflammatory punch to the table. Scientists tested this and found that people got enhanced anti-inflammatory effects when they combined the two. Now, here's something that completely changes the game. It's not just what you take with turmeric, but when you take it. Number one, take it with meals for better absorption. Most people take turmeric in the morning with breakfast. Makes sense, right? Start your day with something healthy. But here's the important part. Turmeric works best when it's taken with food, especially meals containing healthy fat. That's when your body can absorb it most effectively. Some studies suggest curcumin can cross the blood-brain barrier, which means it may support brain health. Your liver also benefits when turmeric is part of your diet. So instead of focusing on the time of day, focus on pairing turmeric with a meal. Now you know the real reason turmeric doesn't work for most people, and the 12 proven fixes that finally make it one of the most powerful anti-inflammatories on Earth. But remember, turmeric isn't a quick fix. It takes consistency, the right preparation, and the right combinations to see results. Here's the thing. Even with turmeric working correctly, millions of people are still missing out on another ancient remedy that's been called the cure for everything but death. It's black seed oil. And while almost everyone has heard of it, most use it completely wrong. In the next video, you'll discover the 10 biggest black seed oil benefits you've been missing for years and how to use it right. Click here to watch now and see how black seed oil can transform your health in ways turmeric alone never could.